We need to do this all again. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is another video day and I'm coming back to you with a wallet review unboxing, blah, blah, blah. I have revealed this before, but I wanted just now to kind of go through it a bit more in detail because um, I have used it on my recent trip to London uh, because I wanted to go with a bigger wallet. Uh, I took more cards, you know, then I needed somewhere to store um, uh, my flight tickets, um, bills, you know, that will accumulate during the days and so on and so on. So I basically wanted to go with a bigger wallet and why not try this one out, which I have picked up and revealed, I think a month ago. I don't know. Anyway, it comes in this gorgeous blue, dark blue Prada box with a silver logo on the top. Um, the surface mimics some kind, somehow the, I would say they're Safiana leather kind of trim, which is really nice. Inside of the box has the Prada logos on the top and all through. And this actually, I think I mentioned a couple of times, um, if you have a Prada ba bag that has a lining inside, actually this is how the lining is going to look like. Of course, not going to be plastic. But, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, it's, um, oh, come on. You get it, the lining in the bag. Okay. All right, so that's how it's going to look like inside. Um, you are presented with a little paper which unwraps and unveils, behold, the big Prada wallet. This thing is a monstrosity. It is in the camo print, which you guys know that I adore. Um, oops. And this is how it looks. It's, you know, a zippy style wallet. Um, from the front, you have your Prada logo down here. Prada Flake. Uh, it's in Safiano. So their signature material. Back is the same as front but without the logo. And then you have a pull tab zipper. Go off my face. It says Prada Milano. As you can see there. Does it say Prada Milano? Yes, it says Prada Milano. So Prada Milano. And then you unzip it. The zipper is very, very smooth. Uh, I must give them that. Very nice. Um, and you got, you know, this big wallet that opens like this and has a middle compartment here for the coins. Then on one side you have all the credit cards and I believe it's 16 or 18 or... Let me just check that out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 actually, 17 guys. So 17 slots for the cards here. You have a little Prada Milano inboxing on the below here. I think these are like more credit card slots and this last one is like to attach. I don't know, maybe have a card here that you need to put, put out quickly. Um, then it has two bill compartments hidden below the car. Slots one and two. And these are deep enough guys, you can put any kind of cash you have inside. I tried British pounds, I tried euros, um, not a problem. So it can be even higher, the bill can be even higher and still um, it's gonna get in here. Look at this. So again, I'm gonna pull the hand now so you, you see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, you know, any kind of bill is gonna go in and it's gonna stay in securely. So you don't have to worry, you're not going to lose something. So you have two of them. Why I found this uh, good was that I actually keep my British pounds here when I was in UK. And uh, I have kept my euros here in the other compartment. The mid compartment is the one that you usually use for coins and so did I. Um, you know, it was going to store a lot of coins and it's kind of movable in the middle. It's not detachable, so it's in there. It's, you know, you can move it. The zipper is not as smooth as the one on the outside, but I do believe that's going to probably, you know, kind of soften up as I use it more. Um, the internal zip also has the Prada Milano logo on it here. 
And then on the other side, which I found particularly interesting, is kind of, you know, like kind of cinched pocket. You see how it extends here? Come on, zoom in. All right. So you see, so this one is really big. It's enormous. And I used it actually. I put something in there and I'm going to close it. Guess what I put in here? Guess, guess, guess. It's an iPhone 6 Plus, the big one, iPhone 6 Plus, uh, actually S, the latest one, yeah, let me show you this. So I put my phone in here, guys, uh, you see, and still there is a ton of space, you see, there's the phone, it's not even, it's even moving vertically, or is it horizontally, <laughs> um, so there is space here actually for more. So you can, when you travel, you know, you can have this and you, 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 you know what I'm saying. So you can put your phone, you can use this as a mini clutch easily because it fits that much, seriously. So let me put my phone out so for you guys to see. So here's the phone, you see that? So that's the newest uh, pink one. Don't ask me why it's pink. Uh, pink iPhone 6 Plus S fits into this wallet easily um that's i think a big plus at least for me it was so when i was you know traveling uh and going through customs and going you know where i need to show through border control and so on i had everything here uh my phone uh, my documents ah my passport that's what i forgot my passport uh i don't have it here handy i should have you know but i forgot but anyway so you get the idea you see because i told you about the cinching before so i put my passport also here so i had the passport of this and uh, the phone here on the top I just had the ticket and here I had all the cards and the money and everything this wallet is really really nice but um, the benefit of it being big is also its downside because you know if you don't need a wallet this big and if you're not carrying a bigger bag so meaning you're not going on a travel or something like that it's kind of hard to put it somewhere uh, let me demonstrate why because this here is my Braza wallet, okay? And a lot of people find the Braza wallet already to be big, all right? Um, it is kind of big, but not really. Ba, 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 ba. It's small compared to this. Look at how big this thing is. It just dwarfs the Braza wallet any way you look at it. Look at that. The Braza wall is like a joke to this. I mean, not in a negative sense, it's just a much smaller wallet, of course. Um, I don't think it fits the phone in there, it's not intended, plus you can't zip it, right? So it wouldn't be secure, but just for the sake of... But here's the phone again. Here's my Braza. It also has this, you know, pocket that cinches here. Ah, actually I can put the phone in, look at that. Uh, let me turn that around, okay, kind of, you know, now when I want to close it's kind of, mm, nah, it's not really, not really gonna work, um, but yeah, anyway, so what I wanted to do with this is just to demonstrate how big this really is, so you need to ask yourself, you know, when you're getting a wallet like that, um, or if you want to get a wallet like this, is how you're gonna utilize this wallet. Um, for me, on the trip to London, it came really, really handy. So for that kind of particular use, I think, you know, this could be a good wallet. Aside from that, you know, from going to work or something like that, I mean, you don't need that. Maybe if you, I don't know, are carrying 16 cards with you and whatnot. And I know the ladies have a lot of cards. A lot of them are, you know, you know, some credit ones and so on, but also the ones for collecting points and, and whatnot. And that might be, you know, you might need a wallet like that and you have a bigger bag like a Neverfull or... I mean, you don't need, you don't need the Neverfull GM, you know what I'm saying, but you need a bigger bag to house this. That's one of the downsides. Other than that, I mean, if you're fine with a bigger wallet and if you like the polarizing print, like I do on this one, you, but you can get this one in a plain kind of print, but you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm just a sucker for everything, anything camo. Uh, if you know me and you, you're watching my channel, you would know that. Um, I, I just had to pick it up and this one was pretty much a, really a bargain, you know, if I tell you how much I paid for it, you're gonna hate me. 
Are you gonna hate me? You're not gonna hate me. All right, video is already at 10 minutes. I said to myself, I'm not gonna do videos more than 10 minutes, but here we are at 10:39, 40, 41, 42. You get the point. Um, I forgot to tell you about, you know, this little thing. You know, I just show it here so you guys, you know, can you know what it is. It's a little envelope which houses in um, your uh, authenticity card. And here is actually the product number for this particular wallet. If anybody is interested of getting one. Um, Portafoglio Lampo, see? I don't know. No fun intended for my Italian friends. Safiano Camouflage uh, Color Royal article is 2ML220. Um, that's about it. Um, so anyway. Uh, this has been a bit of a review of my Prada Safiano Zippy Monster Wallet. Um, I really like it guys. Um, I, I'm for sure gonna use this. Another thing with this Safiano things which I, you know, let me just not forget about this one. You know, this thing is pretty much resistant to all kind of elements, you know. So you don't really need to worry if, you know, it's gonna catch a little bit of water. You can just wipe it off. Um, very, very resistant material. Um, so from that perspective also a plus on this wallet. As I said, aside from the size and you know the way how you're gonna utilize it and the polarizing color, but there are other ones, I highly recommend this product. I think it's an awesome, awesome wallet, especially if you can pick it up somewhere for a good price, um, then do so. Thank you again for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this little video review. Uh, I sure enjoy making videos for you guys and uh, if you have a comment to leave down in the box Please do so and I'll come back to you. Other than that, please like the video and subscribe, please um, And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for now and see you soon. Bye